Tonight on BCN Weekly Report, for our top story, the war in Gaza has been ongoing. Reporter Amaya Weekly covers the history of the war and overviews what is currently happening in Palestine. Also, last Friday, the Labor Department held the Work Learning Showcase in Barrett Lounge. Stay tuned in to see what other Labor Departments are up to. And the Berea Sports Championship was last weekend. Update on all Berea College sports coming soon. All of this and more coming up soon tonight on BCM Weekly Report. Live from Berea, Kentucky, enjoy this week's episode of BCN Weekly Report. Good evening and welcome to this week's episode of BCN Weekly Report. My name is Michael Harmon III. On BCM Weekly Report, we typically focus on local news at the college and state level. However, the war in Gaza has affected the United States and even Berea College students. Reporter Amaya Weekly covers the history of this war and what's currently happening in Palestine. Palestinians located in Gaza have been almost completely disconnected from the rest of the world as various airstrikes and heavy restriction of resources persist. On October 7th, the Palestinian militant group Hamas launched a planned attack on Israel, crossing borders placed on the Gaza Strip and killing 1,400 Israelis and taking hundreds of hostages as a result of rising tensions between the two. These tensions trace back to around 75 years. Following the defeat of the Ottoman Empire in World War I, Britain took control of the land known as Palestine and the League of Nations encouraged them to create a national home for Jewish people in Palestine. At this time, the land had an Arab majority and a Jewish minority. Tensions continued to grow because of the insistence on claiming the land of Palestine for Jewish people as a sacred land and the resistance that Palestinians had against this move. The number of Jews arriving in Palestine grew from 1920 to 1940, many fleeing from persecution facing them in Europe during the Holocaust. Israel was declared a state in 1948, and since then Palestinians have been fighting for their right to continue to reside in the land, while Israelis fight to claim it as their own. Several wars since the declaration of Israel as a state have caused Israel to claim many territories in the Middle East. Political science professor John Hireman speaks more on the role of Hamas and what led up to the attack. They're trying to uh, simply resurrect the cause of Palestinian rights, which has sort of gotten shunted aside, was not being as discussed as much on the world stage. The current Israeli government has been trying to pretty much ignore long-term solutions for the Palestinian people to, to, for, 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 for years. So this attack, as horrific as it was, it does it, you know, it certainly does put the, all these issues back on the political agenda. So I think those are certainly some of their goals. Now, ever since the Hamas military attack, Israel has come back at Gaza even harder with frequent airstrikes, killing over 8,000 Palestinians. They have also cut off water, electricity, and even food and medicine imports as those in support of affected Palestinians demand a ceasefire in the midst of the humanitarian crisis. With minimal aid, the people of Gaza are becoming more desperate by the hour as Israeli troops advance further into the Strip with the goal of destroying Hamas. This is a very brief summary about what has been happening in the Gaza region for the past few weeks. We at BCN Weekly Report encourage additional education as this is a heavy topic that has affected many lives deeply. Reporting for BCN Weekly Report, this was Amaya Weekly. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Amaya. Again, we hope everyone does their own research regarding this war from reliable sources like local reporters or the political science department. Before forming an opinion, we'll be back with more news after this short break. Looking for a fun summer labor position? Join Christian Appalachian Project as a counselor at one of their beautiful summer camps in Eastern Kentucky. Inspire and mentor children living in poverty while enjoying kayaking, arts and crafts, basketball, swimming, and other fun activities. You also qualify for an AmeriCorps Education Award on top of your regular paycheck. Text EMILY at 606-386-0002 to get started. Your perfect summer awaits. Beginnings to finish lines. 
From rehab to performance, from first steps to giant leaps, you are strong. Good Samaritan, your teammate in life, your partner in health. I want to be a contender. I want a warm belly to sleep on. A big house. How do I look? Do, do I look good? I want to play hard. My nails done once a month. I want. I want. I want a home. I just want a home. I want someone to love. Last year, more than 30,000 companion animals came to us without homes. 20,000 of them were felines. Let's make some homes together. Thanks for staying with us. The Work Learning Showcase hosted by the Labor Office was held last Friday. This event typically held in the spring serves many purposes for students and faculty alike. It allows students to display the various skills, crafts, and projects they acquire from their positions to not only their peers, but to supervisors and board members alike. It also allows newer students to experience jobs they may be interested in after their first years. That professional skills will be helpful after Berea. Finally, the event serves as a celebration for students and the excellent work they put forth every day to make Berea a thriving community. We spoke with Dean of Student Labor, Dr. College Robinson, to hear his perspective on the event. I'm a firm believer that students are not, it's not just about the work as they do the things that they do in their department, but it's also about the learning. And today is a way to highlight that learning along with the work and all the great projects that students are taking on and the differences that they're making on our campus. Years, we've started to really think about how do we put work on display, and I would even go a little bit further and say put work learning on display. And this is one of the events, so this is actually our first year doing something like this in the fall. We typically do this event in the spring when students are looking at exploring positions, but there's some beauty to doing it in the fall because there's not that um, challenge or not that extra added pressure of like, oh, I need to find a job and I need to find one right now. Instead, students get the opportunity to just learn and really explore and understand the various things that their peers are engaging in. And again, how important that is to the work that we do at the college. Uh, I, I, I can say without a doubt, Berea would not operate without students and without the work that students do on our campus. And this is just, again, another highlight of that. That's all we have on this year's Work Learning Showcase. We look forward to the event growing and evolving in the future. In other news, Championship Week ended for many of our fall sports, including soccer and cross country. Women's and men's soccer were knocked out of the championship contention last Saturday as they were both held scoreless on the road against top-ranked teams in the Collegiate Conference for the South. Men traveled down to Covenant and lost 6-0 in the semifinal, while women lost 5-0 at Bellhaven in the quarterfinal. With that being said, both teams are still young, with most starters this year being freshmen or sophomores. As for volleyball, they also took two tough losses against Huntington and Piedmont to close the regular season. Both games ended in five sets by match scores of 3-2. to two. On the flip side, Coach Michael Thomas led his cross-country teams to Georgia to take on Piedmont University. The men's team captured third overall behind Robert er Emil's individual gold medal, while the women dominated and took first as four of the top five spots were Berea College runners. Additionally, basketball season is right around the corner. Women will look to repeat as champions starting at home versus Sewanee at 6 p.m. on the 15th of November. For more information on Berea sports, head over to BereaAthletics.com. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCM Weekly Report. I'm Michael Harbin III. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Berea College News Radio and watch our show on, online at www.bcnewsradio.com. We'll see you next week. Good night.